Hello again. Okay, so this session is is really about stability, um, and it's going to be a sequence of movements strung together, a flow, if you like, um, and it's going to ch challenge our balance, um, not specifically balance onto one leg, but balance on both feet. But having that stability when we move through the through the practice onto onto the um, subsequent postures, and we do a little bit of core work when we get on the mat. And then we'll do some fairly standard uh, postures uh, to, to finish off. So in a comfortable position, doesn't have to be cross-legged if that's uncomfortable for you. Um, find a sense of grounded here when you're sat down. And, and when I say that, you could have your legs out in front of you, ground down through the feet. Um, throughout this class, be compassionate with your body. Only do things that you're comfortable doing. If it hurts, completely back out of it and continually process the feelings in your body, the sensations um, that are being fed back. So again, yoga is a feeling practice. It, it's not really about making shapes. Um, it's, it's right to get the correct alignment and to, to go in and move through the postures in a safe and stable way. Um, but try not to get into your head that you have to look in a right in a particular posture. Try to feel the sensations. To start off with, we're going to start in a bent knee um, position. So left knee is bent, sole of the foot towards that thigh. Um, lift up through the crown of the head. Try to get straight in the back and gently slide the hand down on that straight leg till you find a little bit of ten tension in your body and simply hold there. And while you hold here, maybe uh, close your eyes or maybe uh, invoke your Ujjayi ocean breath where you slightly constrict your throat. And as you breathe in and out with that gentle constriction, find that soothing sigh in the back of your throat. And get used to challenging or targeting the stress in your body with that sigh. So as you find the tension in your body, gently sigh into it and see how that changes, possibly the feeling in your body. So gentle forward bend, come back out, twist to the left, take the right hand onto the left knee, sweep the left hand behind, still lifting up through the spine here, and then turning through to the left. Find that compression in this twist. And in a couple of breaths here. And gently turn to the other side, to the right. So left hand onto the outside of that right knee, right hand behind for lift through the spine. Inhale here, turn around to the right. and then come back, lean back on your hands and lift your chest forwards as you pull the shoulders backwards. Very gentle back bend and release. Okay, and we come again on the other side. So straighten that left leg, bend the right leg. And again, it's gonna be different on each side. So don't go to the point where you think you should be. Slide forward to find that tension in your body. Being mindful around what's going on in your body, maybe some contractions in this knee here. You can soften with your breath, engage that Ujjayi breath, bring your mind into the feelings of the body. So you might, your head might be somewhere else at the moment. It might be on what's happening later, what happened before the class, what happened yesterday, issues that you're dealing with. To, to recognize those distractions, those attachments, and then bring your awareness, your focus into the breath and the feelings in your body. You can pick those things up at the end of the session. Okay, and come back. And we take a rotation to the right, left hand on right knee, right hand behind, lift through the spine. Turn into this twist and feel what's getting compressed in your body. Maybe pull the tummy button in, see how that changes the effect. And turn to the other side, right hand onto the outer edge of the left knee, left hand behind for lift through the spine. We don't lean back in twists. All of the time processing the sensations, the feelings, the sensory feedback, becoming connected with your body, getting your mind connected with your body, not attached to external things. Lean back on the hands, gently lift the chest up, maybe drop the head back. So we've already started to mobilize the spine now in three planes, if you like, and then come forward. So we're going to come onto our fronts, continue with that spinal articulation. So find tabletop here, wrists under shoulders, knees under hips, knees are hip width apart. With a breath in, drop the tummy down, lift the head up, point the bottom up. With a breath out, round through the back, drop the head between the shoulders, nice and soft in the neck, tuck the tailbone under as you pull the tummy button into the spine. So three of these with your breath. Just feel 
the sensations as the spine moves all the way from the base of the skull to the tip of the tailbone. You might find there's some tightness in your lower back, and that's absolutely fine. That's quite normal for most people anyway. But this posture, this movement is really nice to start loosening off some of those really tight muscles in the, around the lumbar spine. I'm going to light, slight variation here. So as you come into um, cow pose, so the tummy comes down and the bum goes up, lean back your bottom, your hips onto the heels. And then as you exhale around through the spine, pull the tummy button and drop the head. Lean the shoulders forwards of the wrists. And go with that. It's a nice sort of smooth movement with the breath. And the effect of this, we call it flossing, is actually moving the spine in such a way so that the sciatic nerve, which travels right down the middle of the spine, sometimes it can get a little bit snagged. And this little bit of extra movement in this posture, as you articulate the whole of the spine, this flossing gently releases any of that tagging. If you've got it, you might not have it, you might not feel any difference whatsoever. But in some cases, this is quite a nice way to get a good, gentle movement of that sciatic nerve through the spine. Okay, from here, rock the hips from side to side. I'm going to straighten out the left leg, tuck the left toes in, and we're going to bring the right arm up to the side of the head, look down at the mat. Hold here for a couple of breaths, pushing back into that left heel. And active in the shoulder girdle here. Come back down, change over. So right leg goes back, tuck the toes in, push back into the right heel, float the left hand up. And again, feeling that stretch through the right leg, through the right calf, but feeling active in the trapezius on that left arm. Come back. Okay, move the hips from side to side. We're going to walk the hands forwards for cat stretch to stretch out through the top of the ribs here and the arms, the shoulders, lowering the chest down, trying to take that chest further down as you feel this really nice stretch through the top part of the body. Breathing nice and slowly. Bring the hands a little bit further back. Going to take a twist here. So take that, this left hand and glide it under the right armpit as you turn the shoulders. Take that left shoulder down onto the mat and then rest the side of the head on the mat. Maybe inching that right hand forward to find some space to get this twist here. Breathe nice and slowly here. And again, feel how that feels. And actually try to think about what's going on in your spine. Think about the tip of the tailbone, the sacrum, and the position of the sacrum. And think about the position of your neck, cervical spine. Try to visualize that twist all the way through the spine. It's really quite nice. And then draw that hand all the way back. Plant it so it's um, next to the right hand. And go again on the other side. So Take that right arm under and taking it across the body to get the right shoulder down, then rest the side of the head on the mat and maybe moving that left hand just to create a little bit of space. Breathe in here. Again, in these postures, only going to where is comfortable for you. We want it to be so it's actually challenging stress in testing us a little bit, but not too much. Okay, come back to tabletop okay now we're going to come into downward dog so walk the hands a little bit further forwards open the fingers up tuck the toes in lift the knees away from the mat several inches and then slowly take the hips up and then take the hips to the back straighten the legs out and then start pedaling the legs so bend one knee and then pedal through as you bend through both legs feeling that tension in the back of the legs you can move the shoulders here you can Start moving around in your dogs, your downward dogs. You can even come up forwards and back. You can lift up on the toes and send the heels down one side. Lift up on the toes and send the heels down on the other side. Just any sort of movement that actually starts really opening the body, stretching the body. Okay, and then inhale, come up onto your toes. So really stretch in the toes, if you like, the knuckles. Come forward with the shoulders, just slightly further, further forward of the wrist. Then bend the knees and slowly draw the hips backwards as you then lift the bottom up, straighten the legs. We'll do that again. So inhale up onto your toes, come forward, shoulders come forwards over the wrists. Then bend the knees and slowly 
draw backwards on your toes, bending the knees even more, and then lift up with the hips, straighten the legs. From here, we're gonna drop onto our knees and slowly lower chest and chin down, come all the way down to the floor. Okay, coming into Cobra, so hands come down either side of the rib cage, tops of the feet on the mat. Inhale, slowly lift the chest away from the mat, and then try to lift up through the crown of the head as you pull your shoulders back on this back bend here. Again, only going as far as is okay for you. Feeling the work going on in the body. Breathing nice and slowly. And release. Come back up into tabletop. We're gonna go straight into some movement now. So tuck the toes in, work your way up into your downward dog. And then bending the knees, looking up between the hands and small baby steps as you walk to the top of the mat to find a bent knee forward bend at the top of your mat. Grab hold of your elbows with opposite hands and a rag doll here, rock and roll. As you rock from side to side and forwards and backwards, still on bent knees. And then maybe circles with the forearms. Drop the hands down, tuck the chin in, slowly a roll up to an upright position. Rolling the shoulders back, lift up through the crown of the head, find a nice flat profile. So gravity hasn't got anything to grab hold of. You're a sufficient form of standing. Lift your toes, lower your toes, broaden through the feet. Inhale the hands up, turn and look up as palms come together. Exhale, bring the hands down to your heart center. Drop the hands down. Another inhale up, sweeping hands out nice and wide and up, turn and look up, bring your hands down. This time, inhale the hands up, softening the knees, float the hands down towards the floor, onto your shins, and inhale, lift up through the chest, half forward bend, straightening the legs. Exhale, bend to the knees, plant the hands down. Small steps as you walk all the way back to a plank position, high press up, feet are hip width apart, leveling out through the body, shoulders on wrists. Take a breath here or drop onto your knees if this is too much for your wrists. And then slowly lower down all the way. Top of the feet on the mat. Inhale up into a cobra, exhaling down. Inhale to tabletop, tucking the toes in, come up into downward dog. Okay, so we're going to start some bigger movements now. I'm going to start with warrior one. So how we get there, we inhale our right leg nice and high, come up onto the toes of the left foot, get some height in your hips. See if you can step your right foot forward between the hands. If you need to take a couple of goes, that's fine. It'll come in time, your hip flexors will get a lot stronger. Rotate your left heel down, turning your foot out to the side. With an inhale, sweep the hands forwards and up above you, either side of the head, into warrior one. Take a breath here. And on an exhale, turn your shoulders into the left, drop the right arm in front and the left hand behind, to find warrior two, and then soften into this posture, palms facing down. Turn and look over the middle finger of your right hand. Okay. Turning that right part to face up, inhale, keeping the arms in line as you lean back into reclined warrior as that right hand comes over the top, then exhale back to warrior two. Look over middle finger of your right hand. Inhale the left hand forwards, arms are parallel in front of you. Stay looking forwards, exhale, pull that left elbow backwards as you reach forward with the right fingertips. Then lean back slightly as if you're taking aim. A couple of breaths here. and straighten out that left hand, find warrior two again. Inhale here, and then dropping the hands down. Turn and face the front, turn that left foot in line now, and then inhale both hands up either side of the head into a high crescent lunge. On an exhale, cactus the arms, bring the elbows down shoulder height, pull the elbows back, and then inhale the chest forwards as you pull the elbows back here. Couple of breaths here. Inhale the hands up, exhale, turn, bend forward, take the hands down to the top of the mat. Okay, hands either side of the right foot. With an inhale, turn the shoulders to the right, take the right hand up. And exhale the hand down, keeping the hips nice and steady. Inhale, turn the left hand up for a twist to the left here. And down. Okay, push into the mat with the hands. We're going to go into three-legged dog, so really big movement. With an inhale, lift the right foot and sweep that right leg all the way back and up behind you, coming up with the toes of the left foot. On an exhale, step that right foot all the way forwards where it came from, between the hands. 
keeping on the toes of the left foot with an inhale now lift all the way up into a high crescent lunge this is all about the stability i mentioned earlier so trying to find stable here so even pressure going down through both feet hips squared pointing forwards right knee pointing over right toes pushing back into that left heel keeping your focus keeping your breath so inhale here lift the hands up slightly higher on an exhale lean forwards take the hands behind you sweep the hands behind you bring the shoulder blades towards each other inhale lift up keeping that stability exhale fold forwards and tweak bring the arms behind you inhale lift up and one more inhale lift up next exhale bend forward hands come down to the floor drop the left knee down onto the mat maybe the top of the foot on the mat will tuck the toes in inhale when you're ready come to an upright position lift the hands up nice and high on an exhale lead into this lunge crescent moon inhale lift the fingertips keeping the shoulders down the back exhale twist to the right take the left arm in front and the right hand behind inhale lift up turn forwards exhale turn to the left right arm in front left hand behind inhale a lift up exhale float the hands down to the top of the mat tucking the left toes into the mat when you're ready we're going to step up into a standing split onto the right leg with the left leg up about hip height hold here for a couple of breaths And then on an exhale, bend this right knee as you bring that left knee towards the left, back of the left knee, the right knee or the right calf. Inhale, straighten the leg. And again, exhale, one leg squat. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, one more. Trying to get that right knee to track forward over the toes. Then inhale, lift up. And then slowly float that left foot down. Push into the mat with the hands. Step all the way back into a downward dog. Pedal out the legs here. Then inhale, come all the way through its plank, leveling out the body. Exhale, lower down, knees, chest, chin, tops of the feet on the mat. Inhale, lift the chest forward and up, lifting up through the crown of the head, pulling the shoulders back. Exhale down. Inhale to tabletop, tucking the toes in. It's downward dog. Take a couple of breaths here, just steady in the ship, finding a little bit of soft breath, nice controlled breath. So I'm going to work that left leg on this side, on this time. So with an inhale, lift that left leg nice and high, come up onto the toes of the right foot, lifting the hips up. On an exhale, step that left foot forward between the hands. Again, it might take a couple of goes, but work it out and then rotate that right heel down so pointing the toes away with an inhale sweep the hands forwards come upright into warrior one lifting the arms up either side of the head stay looking forwards on an exhale turn your shoulders into the right float the left arm in the front and the right hand behind into warrior two okay from here from here turn that left palm up inhale all the way back keeping the arms nice and long and straight reclined warrior exhale warrior two then inhale the right hand forwards and then draw back draw the elbow back as you stretch out forwards with that left hand straighten out that right arm behind you then drop both hands down turn both feet in line inhale the hands up into high crescent lunge here and then cactus the arms inhale the hands up and then exhale fold forward bend forward hands come down either side of that left foot with an inhale turn the um, shoulders to the left take the left hand up this is all about keeping the hips stable now exhale down so the rotation is coming in the shoulders inhale the right arm out to the side and up as high as you can and down push into the mat with both hands and then slowly lift the left leg back and up into three-legged dog coming up onto the toes of the right foot 
and then exhale, step all the way forwards between the hands. Ready to inhale up into a high crescent lunge. To find the stability here. Even pressure through both feet. Left knee tracking over the left toes. Hips squared to the front. Soft in the shoulders, not shrugging the shoulders. Inhale, lift through the fingers. Exhale, glide forwards and backwards. Shoulder blades come together. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, keep thinking about stability, keeping it nice and controlled. Inhale, lift up. One more. Inhale, lift up. This time, you're going to fold the hands down, bend forwards, hands come down to the floor. Drop the right knee on the mat, top of the foot or toes tucked. When you're ready, come to an upright position on an inhale, lifting the hands up. Inhale, on an exhale, turn to the left, take the right arm in front and the left hand behind. Inhale, lift up, turn to the front. Exhale, turn to the right. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, come forward. It's going to come to standing split. So lift up on that left leg as you lift the right leg off of the mat about hip height. Take a moment here to stabilize. Inhale on an exhale, one leg squat. As you bend that left knee, bring the back the right knee to the back of the left calf. Inhale, lift up, standing split. Exhale, squat. Inhale, lift up and squat. Inhale, lift up. And then dropping that right foot all the way to the back of the mat, hands into the floor, step back into downward dog. Pedal out the legs here. Inhale through into plank. Hold plank now, just for a couple of breaths if you can. If it's too much for your wrists, your shoulders, you can drop onto your knees. And do some cat cows if you're on your knees, but hold plank, looking down at the mat, breathing nice and slowly. Nice and level through the body. Wherever you are, drop onto your knees, slowly lower the whole body down. Take the hands down the side of the body, ready for locust. Inhale the legs and the chest away from the mat, looking diagonally down in front of you. So soft in your neck. And breathe. And return to the floor, hands down either side of the ribcage. Push up into tabletop, take the knees out to the edges of the mat. Sit back into child as you reach up to the top corners of your mat with your hands. Take a bit of breath here. I'm going to go again. We're going to start that um, sequence again. So come up into tabletop. And when you're ready, tuck the toes in. Lift up into your downward dog. Inhale the left leg nice and high up onto the toes of the right foot. Exhale, step that left foot forwards. Rotate the right heel down. Inhale up into warrior one. Turn into warrior two. Turn to the right, left arm in front, right hand behind. Inhale into reclined warriors. You lift that left arm back and up. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale the right hand forwards to archer. Exhale, pull that elbow back, stretch the left hand forwards. A breath here. Straighten out that right hand. Drop the hands down. Inhale, turn on both feet to come up to high crescent lunge. Both feet in line, left knee pointing over the left leg. Cactus the arms here. Pull the elbows back. Inhale the chest forwards, elbows back. Inhale the hands up. Exhale, bend forward, hands down. Inhale, twist to the left. Take the left hand up. Exhale down. Inhale, turn to the right. Take the right hand up. Stability here. Exhale down. Inhale, step all the way back and up into three-legged dog. Come up onto the toes of the right foot. Exhale, step that left foot forward between the hands. Inhale, up into high crescent lunge. 
stable here. Exhale, come forwards and backwards. Inhale up, keep the stability. Exhale, forwards and backwards. Inhale up. And one more, exhale, forwards and backwards. Inhale all the way up. Exhale, hands down to the mat. Drop onto the right knee, top of the foot on the mat. Inhale, sweep the hands up into crescent moon. Exhale, turn to the left. Inhale, lift up, working with your breath. Exhale, if I'm too fast, you can go at your own pace. We'll catch up in a moment. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, the hands down. When you're ready, tucking the right toes in. Lift up into a standing split. Exhale, squat. Inhale, standing split. Exhale, squat. Inhale, standing split. Exhale, squat. Inhale, standing split. Hold here. And roll back onto the balls of the right foot. Push into the mat with the hands. Step back into downward dog. Inhale through to plank. Exhale all the way down. Inhale through and up into cobra or high cobra as the pelvis comes off the mat. Lift up through the crown of the head. Exhale down. Inhale to tabletop, tucking the toes in. Exhale to downward dog. A couple of breaths here. As you regroup, push into the mat with the heels, finding that stability here, steady in the breath. Okay, with an inhale, lift the right leg nice and high up to the toes of the left foot. With an exhale, step the right foot forward between the hands, rotating that left heel down, and then slowly inhale, sweeping the hands forwards and up into warrior one. Stay looking forwards, drop the arms down, turn into the left into warrior two. Reclined warrior, bringing that right arm up and backwards as you drop down on the left arm. And exhale to warrior two. Inhale the left hand forwards and draw back to archer. A breath here. Straightening out that left hand. Okay, drop the hands down, turn both feet at night. Inhale up into high crescent and cactus the arms here. Inhale the hands up, exhale, fold forwards, bend forwards, hands down onto the floor. Inhale, twist to the right, taking that right hand up, exhaling down. Inhale, twist to the left, keeping the hips nice and stable. Exhaling down, push into the mat with the hands. Inhale, stepping that right leg back and up into three-legged dog. Come up on the toes of the left foot. Exhale that right foot forwards. Inhale all the way up into high crescent. Finding the stability. Knee over toes, hips square. Exhale, fold forwards. Hands come behind you. Shoulder blades come together. Inhale up. Nice, smooth, smooth movement with the breath. Exhale. Good controlled, good alignment. Grounded evenly through both feet when you lift the hands up. Exhale, forward shoulder blades towards each other. One more. Inhale up. And exhale back. Inhale up. I think we might have done too many on that side, but never mind. Exhale, the hands come all the way down to the floor. And dropping down onto that left knee. Inhale, the hands up. Exhale, rotate. Inhale, turn to the front. Exhale, rotate. Inhale, turn to the front. Fold forwards, ready for standing split. Lift up into the right leg. Exhale, squat, knee to calf. Inhale, up. Exhale. Inhale, up. 
exhale, and one more, inhale up, exhale, inhale up, float that left foot down onto the ball of the foot, push back into a downward dog, inhale through into plank and hold here, and drop onto your knees if that's okay, couple of breaths here, find that grounding through the arms, try to be, try to release the arms, so not to engage the arms and find stability in your skeletal framework. Drop onto your knees, chest, chin, all the way down. Hands down the side, inhale up into locust. Hold and breathe. And release, bring the hands down either side of the ribs, push up into tabletop, take the knees out to the edges of the mat, sit the hips back into child here, inch your fingertips to the top of the mat as you soften, breathe here. Breathe into the belly, allow the belly to drop to, towards the floor. As you breathe out, sit back onto the hips. Okay, and then look up between the hands, come up into a tabletop position. We're going to come to a standing position. So tuck the toes in, lift the hips up into downward dog, and then bend the knees as you walk the feet towards the center of the mat, walk the hands backwards towards the center of the mat. Before we go there, lower the chest down onto the thighs, take the hands behind you, stretch the arms out, and try to come forwards with the arms as you lower the chest onto your thighs. Slough so through the shoulders here. Finding this stretch through the shoulders to release where you can. So you're actually using gravity. If you can get those arms forwards, get the gravity to pull the arms down, soft through the shoulders. If you can't, just try to soften through the shoulders where you can. And then dropping the hands down the side of the body, tucking the chin in, rolling up to standing. Finding Tadasana here, so active in your quads. Inhale, hands up and down. Okay, and do a little balance now. Um, and, you know, if balance isn't with you today, that's okay. Give it a go because it's a very mindful activity balance. I really like balance, although I'm not particularly good at it. So what we're going to do, I'll quickly demonstrate. We're basically going to start with hands on hips and we're going to bend one knee. You're going to take the opposite hand onto the outside of the thigh. You're going to take this left hand back. And then we're going to slowly bring the leg up. And if we can keep the balance here, we're going to see if we can grab hold of the toes and go for a toe grab. Okay, it looks quite straightforward, but everybody's going to be different. So go nice and slowly. Good pressure into the mat with the right foot. Hands on hips. Look at something on the floor, if you can, that's going to give you a good focus, give you some good focus. The first thing you do is bend that left knee. So the toes are still on the mat. And then take the hand across onto the thigh. Take this hand back. So we've done all the big sweeping movements so far. So with your core engaged, then if you can, float that left knee off the mat. So you can rest your hand on the outer side of that knee. And if you can find the balance here, stay here. If this is already enough for you, that's fine. Absolutely fine. Only if you're okay to do so. See if you can grab hold of a toe and see if you can straighten out through that leg. And it might be a bit wobbly at first. That's okay. But go with what you can do. If it's not working for you, just revert back to where you did find the stability and stay there. The next level is to turn and look back at the left hand if you've got the stability. But don't worry too much. Just get on one leg. No matter where you are is all, is all we need to do. Because this is a mindful practice. And all the time we're trying not to bat to fall. We're mindful in the moment, okay, and come out of that, okay. So, wherever you did, wherever you did in that, that's good, that's good. Getting on the other side, so nice and slow, hands on hips, focus on the floor, actually be driving down into that left foot, and then bend the right knee, take the hand down on the outside, take the right hand back. You can stay here, this sometimes is challenging enough. If you are okay with the balance, floating that knee off of the mat. And take a moment here just to get that stability, that grounding. 
working with the breath or softening the breath. Slow movements, not big movements. And then find the balance in your body so that the ankle doesn't have to do much work. You're driving down through the center of your gravity. You're breathing nice and slowly here. And if you wobble and fall out, just come back into it. Because every time we do this, we develop our body, our strength, our stability. We develop new neuroplasticity in the brain. We actually really work those motor neurons. So they go at it the next time a lot better. Wherever you are, come all the way down. Well done. Okay. Whew. Even though you're still not doing anything, still quite hard. Okay, so come to the top of your mat now. We're going to come all the way down onto our fronts. Inhale the hands up. Straight leg forward bend this time. So try to keep your legs quite straight. Feet are hip width apart. Swan dive. Coming down to the floor. And then as your head and chest come down, lift your sit bones up. Lean onto the balls of the feet. Try not to lean backwards. You're only compromising the posture. If you lean onto the balls of your feet, you can lift your sit bones up. You've got really good range of movement here. You might want to take the hands behind the thighs, the, ankle, uh, the calves, the ankles, so you can pull the head and the chest further down. If this is uncomfortable in your lower back, back off. Just go back up a little bit to find a little bit of comfort so you can stay here for a few breaths. Thinking about your sit bones coming up, thinking about your knees, backs of the knees going backwards. And then bend the knees a little bit, drop the hands down onto the mat, more the way back into a downward dog, stretch out through the back, push down into the heels. Couple of breaths here. And then drop down onto your knees. Okay, a little bit of a quad stretch here. So bring the knees together. Sit back onto your heels if that's okay for you. If you're up in, uh, if you can't come down this far, just go as far as you can. Lean back onto your fingers just momentarily to lift the fronts of the knees off of the mat if this is within your practice. If not, don't worry too much. Those that you can do it. Otherwise, if you're up here, we're okay. We're going to come onto our bottoms. So cross your ankles, maybe roll back onto your bottoms. We come straight down onto our lower backs. Pull our knees in here. Massage the lower back. I've just done a forward bend, so we will do a little back bend to counter pose. Drop the feet down onto the mat, take the hands down the side of the body, rest the head and shoulders on the mat, and with the breath in, push into the mat with the feet, engage your quads, come up into bridge. Keeping the knees parallel, just finding that activity in your glutes, lifting the front of the pelvis, the hips up away from the mat. And come back down. We're going to roll up to seated. A little bit of core now. Okay, core stability is really important for everything, for any postures, but in life generally. We really need a good firm core to support our lower back. Um, so we're going to do a couple of little core um, postures here. So with your knees hip width apart, feet planted, try to lean on the back of your sit bones. Try to get quite straight in the back. Take the hands forwards, okay? palms face in towards each other. So this is really about core engagement. And what I mean by that is pull your tummy button into your spine and hold it there. Flatten your ribs. So you've got real good all round tight and if you dig your heel, your hand fingers into around yourself, you can file that engagement and keep that engagement. You can hold that. You can hold that for hours. They're slow twitch fibers. So they really don't burn a huge amount of energy while they're being stabilized, synergized, held. OK, from here an inhale. On an exhale, as you exhale and the diaphragm comes out, drive more contraction into your core and slowly use your core to lower the back back to the point where you can just about hold it. Inhale at the bottom. On the exhale, really pull your ribs and your core in as you come all the way back up to where you started. Inhale here. Exhale, tighten everything up and then glide back. Maybe go a little bit lower this time. Inhale at the bottom. 
and exhale, really tighten everything up. Remember flattening the ribs in. Inhale at the top. Keeping everything contracted, but doubling up on that contraction when you exhale and come all the way down. So it's a nice, smooth, slow move down to the floor. Inhale at the bottom. Exhale, really drive up. Okay, hold here, inhale. This time, drive everything in, but this time, lift the arms up on the exhale. <laughs> Inhale down, keeping everything contracted. Contract even more on the exhale as you glide those arms up. Inhale down. Tighten everything up on the next exhale. Inhale down, take your hands just behind your hammies, lean back, float the legs up, take the hands either side in boat. Really starting to work now and breathe. Still breathing, but hold in this position. Okay, drop your feet down, slowly lower down on your lower back. Put your knees into your chest and massage your lower back a little just to. Move the lower back. <clears throat> little bit more to do though, a little bit more to do. Okay, keeping hold of that right knee, straighten out the left leg, point the toes. Yogi bikes. <clears throat> so bring, bend your elbows, bring your hands behind your ears, rotate your left elbow towards your right knee. Inhale here, on an exhale, twist and go. Inhale here, twist and go. Inhale here, and again, keeping the toes pointed, and go. Keeping the lower back really pushing into the ground all the way through the movement. Try to keep the elbows off of the floor. Well done. Bring the knees into the chest. Little back roll here. Roll up to seated. Okay, going to just soften through the core now. Straighten out the left leg and step the right foot over if you can. Going to turn to the left. Take the right elbow on the inside of that left leg. Now, so the important thing is to get that left hand behind to lift up through the spine. You see how I was sort of gently leaning back there. Then I lift my spine up and then I go for the twist. So we don't lean back in twists if we can help it. And then turn your shoulders through to try to get your shoulders, the plane of your shoulders in line with that straight left leg. Ankle flexed, pull the tummy button in and breathe here. And release, change over. So <clears throat> right leg nice and long, ankle flex, toes pointing up. Step the left foot over, either side of the knee or the thigh. Turn to the right, position the elbow for a bind. Take the right hand behind to lift through the spine. Inhale here, exhale, use the bind to find the twist. Thinking about the spine being quite upright and the plane of the shoulders, try to get in line with that straight leg. Pulling the tummy button in, breathing through the tops of the ribs. And feeling the sensations in your body, particularly your core that's had a really good amount of effort. And now we're squeezing, twisting all of those muscles, those fibers as well. And release, well done. Okay, from here, straight legs. And we're gonna do a little bit of a sit bone walk just to keep the hips moving. Forwards and backwards. This gives you a point of reference. We're gonna to come into a forward bend. So your point of reference, your sit bones, the bony bits under your pelvis, try to rock forwards onto the front of them, okay? Try to pull the sit bones backwards. Nice and flat in the lower back. Hands come forwards and onto your legs. 
keeping the chest high, the chin high. A few slow, steady breaths here. Angles flex, toes pointing up. Maybe close your eyes. Maybe drive the backs of the knees into the floor, active in the quads. Roll the pelvis further forward. Sit bones going backwards. Find tension in your hamstrings. And work into that tension with your breath. Trying to go a little bit deeper with each breath. And after four or five breaths, slowly gliding the hands back. Dropping the hands down and drop onto your forearms, elbows, elbows under shoulders. Point the feet, bring the feet together. Drop the head back and then lift the chest up and then use your lower back muscles to push your tummy forwards. Lifting your chest, pushing your tummy up towards the ceiling with your lower back muscles. Find this counter pose, hold here, soften your neck, just allowing the head to rest back, but grounding through your elbows. And release. Okay, this time. Push up. We're going to take the hands behind us and push the fingertips or turn the, the hands around so the fingertips are away. Now shuffle forward with your um, hips, your sit bones, keeping the arms as straight as you can. Come to the point where you really start to feel that tension in your shoulders. And that's as far as we're going. Just the point you've got a little bit of tension in the shoulders, in this posture. Hands are grounded. And then come, come backwards, release the hands. Okay, coming down onto our lower backs now. And give the knees a squeeze, a couple of squeezes. Drop the right foot down. Rest the um, left ankle on top of the right knee. A little bit of hip rotation now. We haven't done too much in this class. It's the nature of the class. So lifting that right knee up, reach around with your hands around the back of that hamstring. Try to see if you can interlace your fingers and pull that leg back or take your hands onto the shin so you can pull that raised leg, that right leg back and find that stretch in your left glute. Hold and breathe here. Head and shoulders can be on the floor. And slowly drop that right foot down. Take the hands out nice and wide. Rest the head on the mat. Rotate the hips to the right. So come find, find this twist. Lift your right hand up. Gently pull down on that left knee. So go deeper into this twist here. Keeping your left shoulder, left arm grounded. Looking up at the ceiling. Breathing nice and slowly. Into that point of tension in your body. So you can soften anything that's tight. And releasing that leg, come back to centre, plant both feet on the floor, right leg up, right ankle on top of thigh, gently lifting that left foot away from the mat and find this reclined pigeon pose as you interlace the fingers behind that left hamstring, left thigh, pull towards you or onto the shin, but pull that left knee towards you to find that stretch in your right glute here. And softening around that hip, that glute, the thigh, the right thigh, but keeping the pressure on here.
Nice, smooth, ujjayi ocean breath as you sigh into the discomfort. And dropping that left foot down. Head and shoulders on the mat, arms out nice and wide. Rotate to the left this time. Bring that right knee to the left side. Lift the left hand up. Gently encourage that knee to come down forward. Look it up at the ceiling. Hold and breathe. and release come back to center bring both knees up into the chest head to knees knees to head hold here a couple of breaths and then drop the feet down straightening out the legs take the legs or the feet to the bottom corners of the mat rest the head shoulders down on the mat take the arms out to the side backs the hands on the mat and then take a breath here and as you breathe out let go of everything that's going on in your body Feel that sense of release of falling into the ground. And your next breath in again. Feel the chest, the belly rise. And the next breath out. Feel any concerns, worries, thoughts, distractions, attachments fall into the ground beneath you. So empty in your mind of any distractions allow you now to guide your mind onto your breath and following the breath feeling the breath feeling the movement of the body with the breath and feeling the pressure of the body on the ground You can stay here in Shavasana as long as you want, but I am going to bid you farewell again. Thanks for doing this class. I hope you got something out of it. And I'd love you to um, come along to any of my public classes. Um, we do this type of stuff. Every class is different. It's probably because I can never remember what I've done in the class before. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a nice mix. And flowing yoga is great yoga because you can really stop the world going around and stay in the moment at least for 45, 50 minutes. Okay, take care, stay safe. See you soon. Bye.